Welcome one, welcome all, and I'm so happy to see you back here again as we do part four of our look at the NBK knockoff of Gravity Builder, which in itself is that third party representation of the Transformers character known as Devastator. And today we're going to look at this guy. It is, <laughs> I, love, I love this name, it is the NBK Scraper, which is their take on the Constructicon Scrapper. And he's going to be our focus in the latest GotBot True Review. Hey one, hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Dennis Moulton, aka GotBot. Please like, comment, share, and of course subscribe. It helps me out so, so much. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, Transformers Collectors, and L and me everywhere, and this is Scraper. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about grammar when we start this off, by the way. And so far, we've been kind of having a race comparing this guy to the Titan class, Combiner Wars Devastator. And I'm doing that because I feel like this and that are the best options, maybe, that we have for a chug representation of the character of Devastator. I, because this is a simplified KO, I don't think it really would fit in for Masterpiece. You know, a Generation Toys version, actual version might. I still think the Toy World version is the best Masterpiece version out there. Anyway, all of that is a debate. Who knows? Maybe for another day. In terms of the NBKKO, this is pretty great. The score so far, so to speak, is that two out of the three figures we've already looked at, I think are done just ever so slightly better in the Combiner Wars line. And then we had a look at a couple of versions of Mixmaster and the NBK one there. I think that this may be another example where the KO wins. Now my scrapper has the add-on set that gives him much more poseable arms. But when I talk about the grades for Scrapper and Scraper, I'm going to be making reference to like the way he comes out of package, not the Unite Warriors version, the Combiner Wars version, the way he comes out of package. And <laughs> the obvious advantage that this guy immediately has is better arms, but that's not really it. There's a few things that I think this guy does better. Anyway, enough of me talking about him. Let's head over to the table and take a closer look at him. And as we move ahead now into part four of our little series here, we start off with a little bit of an English lesson. Yeah, pay attention, kids. This, of course, is the NBK01 knockoff of the Generation Toy Gravity Builder character known as Scraper, who of course is a third party representation of the Transformers, Decepticon, Constructicon leader known as Scrapper. Now, here's the difference between Scraper and Scrapper for those not in the know. Scraper is spelt with one P, Scrapper is spelt with two P's. There you go, there's your English lesson. And this is a pretty great figure. We've been kind of having a race between this guy and the Titan class version. And for those keeping score, we've done Bone Crusher and Scavenger. Both of those were wins for the Combiner Wars version, at least I think so. Not to say that in part one and two, either of those figures scored poorly. They didn't, they're still great figures. It's just I thought that the Combiner Wars ones eked out a little bit of a win. And when we've done Mixmaster versus Mixmaster in part three, NBK finally got a leg up, and what about the other leg? Speaking of legs, since this guy becomes a leg for the combined form, well, we'll get to that in good time. For now, here he is as a tractor, and it's a great looking tractor. Here he is in comparison to the Combiner Wars version, and this guy is not only larger, but I feel like it looks more correct for the tractor, more accurate. This looks a little smaller and kind of squat up, so to speak. I mean, it's obvious what it is, but like, I feel like this piece here could have been larger. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I thought that 
Scrapper's look was pretty good, but it wasn't perfect because I had to paint the silver on his ladders. And I will say this, I do have the upgrade arms on my Scrapper. Uh, we're going to kind of talk about this guy, though, in reference to what the stock version of this guy would be like. Really without his elbows, at least if you had the Combiner Wars version of it. Unite Warriors had elbows. Who knows? The elbows of Scrapper. One of the greatest mysteries of Transformers in recent years. Nevertheless, here they are in tractor mode, and I do think that the NBK version wins in tractor mode. I'm not going to give scores now. Like with all the others, I'll give them when we have the tractor mode into robot mode. Speaking of which, it's probably heading on time for us to see that conversion so that we can give this guy some proper scores. Again, like with all of these, we're going to go to his robot mode. We'll quickly go back to this and then we'll go to his leg mode. This guy is a little bit more involved than the other limbs. There's no doubt. Not a lot more, but a little bit more. Again, just like with the other ones, he has fantastic storage for his blaster. It is underneath right here, kind of between his feet. We'll see that later. By the way, when we looked at Mixmaster, I don't think I showed how his blaster fits in his hand and the, like, kind of barrel of it extends just a little bit. So it does do that, and it does that just fine. Just another, just another, you know, check in the plus column for Mixmaster. As far as this guy goes, well, we're going to begin actually by removing this, if we can. Sometimes I find that it's probably easiest if we flip these pieces down. Then we can split the legs and get that out. So all we did so far is there's two little pieces on the back here. We flip them down and split them and split the what in essence are his legs apart. We will come here to the side as well and lift these off. When we lift these off, there's a slot. I don't know if you can see it. There's a slot in the hip. There's a rectangular peg right there on the arm. That's what slotted in there and that's what we just moved out. Okay, not bad, not bad. We can straighten the arms out for now, and we're just going to kind of leave them there sort of for now. The legs, they extend down. And the feet, they extend out. And we rotate them around, and we rotate them around, and we close that up. I'm just going to try and get all of that sort of situated there on the back. Okay. So that's, in essence, the legs done, really. This piece, we can pick this up, but it doesn't really help us for now. I said that, th that this is the legs done. We're only missing one thing. we got to rotate them all the way around at the waist. And now this probably makes a little bit more sense that we have the, the front of the robot mode here. Naturally, we have him kind of going off screen now, so I'm just going to readjust things a little bit so that we can kind of finish off the rest of his conversion. So sort of as I did with Mixmaster, I kind of focused in on the, the lower part of his conversion first. It, again, just to show it as accurately, I guess, as possible. All right, so as we move kind of up the body here now, we come here and we can open up. We lift, we, I guess we lift the ladder off. We open this flap on the side and we should be able to bring out his hand and turn the arm around, close that little tab up, Rotate the ladder around and snap it in on the side. And I guess if you need to, move the fist as you see fit. Okay, let's try to show that on the other side. Maybe a bit clearer. Maybe. So we take that. It will rotate around. And it will close in again. We rotate the whole hand around. We open up here. And if you hadn't done it already, you 
you bring his hand out and close it up. And that's a good, a good portion of the body done. Right now, we open up the chest and we lift this back, we lift up the head, we close the chest back up. We position this on the back behind the head, sort of like that. And in the end, if I'm not mistaken, here we have Scraper in his robot mode. And there's the blaster, it's molded very nicely. It uses this peg to go in the hand and it fits very, very well. And we have these instructions. Nice artwork here. Actually, these are very good. They show the steps quite well. They even show you a kind of beginning picture and an ending picture for like each thing that you're doing. I, I as far as instructions go, these are a winner. So here we have Scraper and Scrapper. And we better get into the grading here. So, very first thing is the paint apps. I had given this guy like nine and a half. It's very close, especially the robot mode, to the character. Very close, not perfect. I added a couple of custom paint apps. I think the tractor could have been improved on a little bit, but it's, it's very accurate. Honestly, I think that this guy over here is a solid 9.25. The head sculpt could be a little bit better, but outside of that, you know, granted around his elbows has black and it probably shouldn't, but outside of that, like it's very close to the same thing. Like it's very good. 9.25, 9.25, that's a, that's a nice start. We get to the articulation. Well, Right now, I think the articulation on this guy with the upgrade kit is a 10. It, he does everything I want him to. But I had only scored him at a 7 before because he had no elbows. So we're going to keep it at a 7 for him. What about the NBK version? Well, let's get right into that. And generally, the articulation on this guy is pretty impressive. We have a head that can go left and right and look up and down. We have a waist, we have shoulders that, you know, they can go forward and back, no problem. They're nice and, and snug too. The arms can go way out to the side. We have a swivel, it's not a bicep swivel, but it works. We have elbows to 90 degrees, we have a wrist swivel. now. We also, I guess, because of transformation, we also have like an inward hinge like that. It's a, it's a weird elbow hinge. The only problem with that hinge is it's fine on, on like this arm, but on this one, it likes to, like it likes to fall down a little bit. There's a slight tolerance issue there. Not major at all, but worth noting. And I, I'm sure that that's only because this is the KO. The legs can go well out to the sides, they can go, you know, forward, pretty far, it can go, especially if you get that out of the way, it can go back pretty far, we have a thigh swivel, we have a knee really over 90 degrees, it's a nice deep knee, we have ankle tilt, we have a heel that can move up and down, we even have like foot rotation. He stands like a champion. I don't, I don't know what else me or anybody else could want in terms of articulation. It's a 10, a solid 10. Now what about the transformation? The transformation is pretty good from vehicle to robot, pretty good from, I guess, vehicle to limb, well, from limb back to vehicle. It does have its slight fiddly points, slight fiddly points, and I would say that the transformation, it's still a solid nine. It's just you, you kind of have to get used to the fiddly points. It wasn't bad getting here, just a couple of things that were worth noting. Very quickly now, we're going to take this out of his hand and we're quickly going to go back to his 
tractor mode. So we open up the chest again, put the head down, close that up. We can kind of lift that up for now. For the hands here, we open the inside, fold the hand in, close it up. Same over here, open it up, fold it in, and close it up. We rotate these down and around. We take the ladder off, turn it around, bring it here to the outside. Same thing over here. Turn that around, ladder off, and to the outside. We bend basically the elbows, and the ladder kind of keeps us oriented, and we collapse in the arms. They should be able to go into the hips. Oh, we actually we can't do that yet. Don't collapse the arms in yet, because I forgot that we need to turn the waist around. When we turn the waist around, and this is where stuff gets a little like fudgy going back, you're really kind of collapsing the legs a bit in a, a bit of a weird fashion. You'll know when you feel it. I can't really explain it to you other than to say you start out like this and you end up like this. You sort of, probably the best way to sort of handle it is sort of bend it down, maybe and then bend it up. It, it, it's, it's a weird series of movements there. There, and then we should be able to peg these legs back together. Straighten up the waist and like that should be straightened up there now. The, the legs should look like this on the top. This is definitely a different conversion than the actual Generation Toy version. We should now be able to bring the arms in and tab it in on the hip and tab this one in hopefully on the hip and bring this back down and bring that down. If you had this little piece down, you bring that, you know, back up. Then you take these feet, you turn them around, they go in underneath this foot. You'll turn it around and it goes up and underneath. If your legs split, uh, split apart there, you can sandwich them back together. Then you take these two little pieces at the end and they lock into one another and they flip up. And when they flip up, there's a little tab here and a little tab here, and that's what they go on over. So that one should go on over there. That one should go on over there. One of these likes to go on a little, a little easier than the other one some days. But basically, in the end, boom, there you have him back in his tractor mode. Now, of course, I just changed him back here super duper quick, but you can see that, like, it's... Honestly, like it's not that bad. We have one more mode to get him into and that of course will be his leg mode. And honestly, I don't think that's too bad to get into either. As long as you know what you're doing. That's the big key with this guy. Know what you're doing. So, how do we handle this? We will pick this piece up. And we will take these pieces off. We will angle that so that's all sort of scrunched up. And there are a set of like tabs and whatnot in there. Like this will basically stay in position. We come to the side here and we rotate down. And we come to the other side and we rotate down. And Then we rotate down and we rotate down. We open out the ladder and again, bring it to the outside, open out the ladder and again, swivel it around and bring it to the outside. And now we're gonna close these arms up. There's spaces, triangular spaces in the chest and the tabs here on the inner arm 
fit into those triangular spaces on the chest. I have one in. Why am I struggling here with the other one? There, there. I just had trouble seeing it a bit. And in essence, like there you have the, the lower part of that mode done. I'm just gonna back things up so that we can see the rest of it. Okay, so with the lower part done, which wasn't bad, how do we finish the upper part? Well, again, the upper part's not too bad. We fold that down and then really what you're doing is you're taking the whole canopy and bringing it up over. You need to fold these pieces back out of the way and then there are two little pegs on the bottom of the canopy and they will go into these two holes right there. It's a bit of a snug fit to get them in there. Little bit of a snug fit to get them in there. Once that's done you pick up the very top of the canopy and you bring it forward as basically a knee and our combiner pieces in here. And in essence, in the end, there is your leg for scraper. And it has a tilt left and right, which I absolutely like. It's not bad, you just have to know how pieces move with it. As for dear old scrapper, well, here he is, also in leg mode, and we have I think two fine legs. I don't have a problem with either of these legs. In their own way, I think they look good. Now, this barrel is probably a, arguably too big. Arguably. I kind of like the look of, you know, uh, Scrapper better, but Scraper is fine in his own right. Overall, the transformation, like I said, is a nine. This guy, the um, Scraper, with the upgrade kit, he's a 10. Without it, which is what we're going with, he was only a 7. Scraper, Scraper and Scrapper are starting to get real, real interchangeable here. This guy was a 7, and this guy over here, honestly, is a 9.5. 9.5, he wins. Absolutely, hands down. Even if I like this leg mode a bit more, he absolutely wins. So, we've kind of got two wins so far for the Combiner Wars version of Devastator, and we have two wins for the KO version. And we only have two left before the Combine Mode. I, I like, I like when we have a kind of competition and it's this close, it makes things that much more interesting. At least it does for me. Needless to say though, with the upgrade kit applied, to Scrapper, he's a 10. The MBK, in that case, is still a nine and a half. Both of these are fantastic iterations of that character. Really, really good. And we're back here with this third party version of Scrapper and like, I dig it, man. Like the head sculpt, okay, it's a little offshore. The coloring is mostly accurate. Enough that, I like, you know, I think you're gonna know that it's Scrapper. I, I don't think that you're going to be confused by which Constructicon this is. He has ankle tilt in both directions when he's a leg. I think that that's fantastic. I kind of like the look of him as a, a shin, I guess. His tractor mode looks better. It looks better proportioned. And I like that. The articulation is vastly improved, even though this arm does like to kind of fall. And I think the transformation for the little ladders on his forearms, though simple, is kind of genius. Overall, he's sturdy, he's secure, and like I said, except for that elbow, which might just be on this copy, I, all the joints feel smooth and they work well. Not, they're not too tight, they're not too loose, they're tolerance really just right. He is an absolute win, so right now we're kind of at a tie in our race because we have two bots that I feel like they've really kind of done a better job with in the Combiner Wars line, and now two that they've done a better job with the KOs. Who knew? Who could have expected that? Anyway, thanks for dropping by giving me some of your extremely valuable time. Let me know what you think about this guy, and again, please hit that subscribe button and help me out tremendously. And I very much look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit right here inside the videos.